You're listening to Meditating the Word, and we are reading the Bible in a Year using the Blue Letter Bible One Year Chronological Plan. We'll read the entire Bible this year in the order the events actually occurred chronologically. The translation I'm using is the World English Bible, but feel free to follow along in your favorite version. You can download a copy of the reading plan from blueletterbible.com. You'll find a link in the notes. And don't forget to subscribe to this podcast on your favorite podcast platform and on YouTube. That way, you'll get a notification every time a new episode is released. This is Day 16, and we're going back to the book of Genesis. Today, we'll be reading chapters 12 through 15. The First Book of Moses, Commonly Called Genesis Chapter 12 Now the Lord said to Abram, Leave your country and your relatives and your father's house, and go to the land that I will show you. I will make of you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great. You will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and I will curse him who treats you with contempt. All the families of the earth will be blessed through you. So Abram went, as the Lord had told him. Lot went with him. Abram was seventy-five years old when he departed from Haran. Abram took Sarai his wife, Lot his brother's son, all their possessions that they had gathered, and the people whom they had acquired in Haran and they went to go into the land of Canaan. They entered into the land of Canaan. Abram passed through the land to the place of Shechem, to the oak of Moreh. At that time, Canaanites were in the land. The Lord appeared to Abram and said, I will give this land to your offspring. He built an altar there to the Lord who had appeared to him. He left from there to go to the mountain on the east of Bethel, and pitched his tent, having Bethel on the west and Ai on the east. There he built an altar to the Lord, and called on the Lord's name. Abram traveled, still going on toward the south. There was a famine in the land. Abram went down into Egypt to live as a foreigner there, for the famine was severe in the land. When he had come near to enter Egypt, he said to Sarai, his wife, See now. I know that you are a beautiful woman to look at. It will happen that when the Egyptians see you, they will say, This is his wife. They will kill me, but they will save you alive. Please, say that you are my sister, that it may be well with me for your sake, and that my soul may live because of you. When Abram had come into Egypt, Egyptians saw that the woman was very beautiful. The princes of Pharaoh saw her, and praised her to Pharaoh, and the woman was taken into Pharaoh's house. He dealt well with Abram for her sake. He had sheep, cattle, male donkeys, male servants, female servants, female donkeys, and camels. The Lord afflicted Pharaoh and his house with great plagues because of Sarai, Abram's wife. Pharaoh called Abram and said, What is this that you have done to me? Why didn't you tell me that she was your wife? Why did you say she is my sister, so that I took her to be my wife? Now, therefore, see your wife, take her, and go your way. Pharaoh commanded men concerning him, and they escorted him away with his wife and all that he had. Chapter 13 Abram went up out of Egypt he, his wife, all that he had, and Lot with him, into the south. Abram was very rich in livestock, in silver, and in gold. He went on his journeys from the south as far as Bethel, to the place where his tent had been at the beginning, between Bethel and Ai, to the place of the altar which he had made there at the first. There Abram called on the Lord's name. Lot also, who went with Abram, had flocks, herds, and tents. The land was not able to bear them, that they might live together, for their possessions were so great that they couldn't live together. 
there was strife between the herdsmen of Abram's livestock and the herdsmen of Lot's livestock. The Canaanites and the Perizzites lived in the land at that time. Abram said to Lot, Please, let there be no strife between you and me, between your herdsmen and my herdsmen, for we are relatives. Isn't the whole land before you? Please separate yourself from me. If you go to the left hand, then I will go to the right, or if you go to the right hand, then I will go to the left. Lot lifted up his eyes and saw all the plain of the Jordan, that it was well watered everywhere, before the Lord destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, like the garden of the Lord, like the land of Egypt, as you go to Zoar. So Lot chose the plain of Jordan for himself. Lot traveled east, and they separated themselves from one another. Abraham lived in the land of Canaan, and Lot lived in the cities of the plain, and moved his tent as far as Sodom. Now the men of Sodom were exceedingly wicked, and sinners against the Lord. The Lord said to Abram, after Lot was separated from him, Now lift up your eyes, and look from the place where you are, northward and southward, eastward and westward, for I will give all the land which you see to you and to your offspring for ever. I will make your offspring as the dust of the earth, so that if a man can count the dust of the earth, then your offspring may also be counted. Arise, walk through the land in its length and in its width, for I will give it to you. Abram moved his tent and came and lived by the oaks of Mamre, which are in Hebron, and built an altar there to the Lord. Chapter 14 In the days of Amraphel, king of Shinar, Arioch, king of Elisar, Chedorlaomer, king of Elam, and Tidal, king of Goim, they made war with Bera, king of Sodom, Birsha, king of Gomorrah, Shinab, king of Adma, Shemeber, king of Zeboim, and the king of Bela, also called Zoar. All these joined together in the valley of Sidim, also called the Salt Sea. They served Chedorlaomer for twelve years, and in the thirteenth year they rebelled. In the fourteenth year, Chedorlaomer and the kings who were with him came and struck the Rephaim in Ashtaroth Karnaim, the Zuzim in Ham, the Amim in Shaveh Kiriathaim, and the Horites in their Mount Seir, to El Paran, which is by the wilderness. They returned and came to In Mishpat, also called Kadesh, and struck all of the country of the Amalekites and also the Amorites that lived in Hazazon Tamar. The king of Sodom and the king of Gomorrah and the king of Adma, the king of Zebuim, and the king of Bela, also called Zoar, went out, and they set the battle in array against them in the valley of Sidim, against Chedorlaomer, king of Elam, Tidal, king of Goim, Amraphel, king of Shinar, and Arioch, king of Alasar, four kings against the five. Now the valley of Sidim was full of tar pits, and the kings of Sodom and Gomorrah fled, and some fell there. Those who remained fled to the hills. They took all the goods of Sodom and Gomorrah, and all their food, and went their way. They took Lot, Abram's brother's son, who lived in Sodom, and his goods, and departed. One who had escaped came and told Abram, the Hebrew. At that time he lived by the oaks of Mamre, the Amorite, brother of Eshcol, and brother of Aner. They were allies of Abram. When Abram heard that his relative was taken captive, he let out his 318 trained men born in his house and pursued as far as Dan. He divided himself against them by night, he and his servants, and struck them and pursued them to Hobah, which is on the left hand of Damascus. He brought back all the goods and also brought back his relative Lot and his goods and the women also and the other people. 
the king of Sodom went out to meet him after his return from the slaughter of Chedor Laomer and the kings who were with him at the valley of Shaveh, that is, the king's valley. Melchizedek, king of Salem, brought out bread and wine. He was the priest of God Most High. He blessed him and said, Blessed be Abram of God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth. Blessed be God Most High, who has delivered your enemies into your hand. Abram gave him a tenth of all. The king of Sodom said to Abram, Give me the people and take the goods for yourself. Abram said to the king of Sodom, I have lifted up my hand to the Lord God Most High, possessor of heaven and earth, that I will not take a thread nor a sandal strap nor anything that is yours, lest you should say, I have made Abram rich. I will accept nothing from you except that which the young men have eaten and the portion of the men who went with me, Aner, Eshkol, and Mamre. Let them take their portion. Chapter 15 After these things, the Lord's word came to Abram in a vision, saying, Don't be afraid, Abram. I am your shield, your exceeding great reward. Abram said, Lord, Lord God, what will you give me, since I go childless? And he who will inherit my estate is Eliezer of Damascus. Abram said, Behold, you have given no children to me, and behold, one born in my house is my heir. Behold, the Lord's word came to him, saying, This man will not be your heir, but he who will come out of your own body will be your heir. The Lord brought him outside and said, Look now toward the sky and count the stars, if you are able to count them. He said to Abram, So your offspring will be. He believed in the Lord, who credited it to him for righteousness. He said to Abram, I am the Lord who brought you out of Ur of the Chaldees to give you this land to inherit it. He said, Lord, O Lord, how will I know that I will inherit it? He said to him, Bring me a heifer three years old, a female goat three years old, a ram three years old, a turtle dove, and a young pigeon. He brought him all these, and divided them in the middle, and laid each half opposite the other. But he didn't divide the birds. The birds of prey came down on the carcasses, and Abram drove them away. When the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell on Abram. Now terror and great darkness fell on him. He said to Abram, Know for sure that your offspring will live as foreigners in a land that is not theirs, and will serve them. They will afflict them four hundred years. I will also judge that nation whom they will serve. Afterward they will come out with great wealth. But you will go to your fathers in peace. You will be buried at a good old age. In the fourth generation they will come here again, for the iniquity of the Amorite is not yet full. It came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a flaming torch passed between these pieces. In that day the Lord made a covenant with Abram, saying, I have given this land to your offspring, from the river of Egypt to the great river, the river Euphrates the land of the Kenites, the Kenizzites, the Cadmonites, the Hittites, the Perizzites, the Rephaim, the Amorites, the Canaanites, the Girgashites, and the Jebusites. Father God, how we love our father of faith, Abraham, who stepped out in faith, not knowing where you would lead him, at your word. Thank you for the covenant you made with him that allows us to be blessed through him. We know that you always make a way, Father, even when there seems to be no way. Help us to develop and grow our faith, to trust you, and to go where you lead us. Thank you, Father. Amen. Please join us in our Facebook community and share your thoughts about today's reading. 
You'll find a link in the notes. And again, thank you for joining me as we read the Bible in a year. I can't wait to see you tomorrow as we continue our journey. Until next time, be blessed and be a blessing.